Greetings fellow Ammonites, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, episode 33, A Gift of Life. Alright, so what do I use the tech prof for? Geothermal or fabrication? What are some other good choices? Monuments, I guess. What are some other big ones? Biosculpting. Okay, there you go. You decide. So I have, for reference, I have about 2K out of this 6.4K of geothermal done. Fabrication would be 8k, Biosculpting 3k, and then Monuments would be 2.7k, but it is, I believe, Neolithic? No, it's uh, Medieval, so it wouldn't take an enormous amount of time. Y you all can decide. Yeah, this is going to upset Shell Bell, but, uh, well, I guess I could leave it there. It's not harming anyone. Nilla, thank you for the resub as well. Almost a full year. Hot oh, dang. So septic tanks is, it's getting there. Doing some pretty good progress on that. Extra extravagant, ooh, Resmex serum. Hey -o. Holy Chief of Tros Rigua is requesting me to build a monument. I have to build it within 29 days. If it gets destroyed in any way, 36 man hunting panthers, oh, I could use that to my advantage, uh, shows up to come try to hurt me. And here is the rewards. Uh, I'll be pulling that in just a second. All right, uh, I'm just gonna cancel this poll. So fabrication it is. Let me queue up fabrication and instantly get it. Oop, done. Amazing. Should we accept the monument quest? You vote. We're also about to get uh, grass 20, which would bring Macho up to level six or Darzan or Guero up to their very first. I guess at this point I could definitely open it up to new guests. There's no point not to. I don't have any impending threats or anything like that. So we can be a good host. Why didn't they smooth this? That's weird. I guess I'll just dig to it. Normally, corners like that are smooth automatically. So now that I just have a, uh, a healthy and productive populace, I'm trying to get ahead of my future needs for steel for all the deadfall traps. I would consider perhaps at some point to, um, oh, seriously, to set up a fire trap. Um, just because uh, we've faced so many massive external threats. I'm not necessarily against fire trapping just because we've had to kill so many stupid tribals showing up at our doorsteps. 
But that could be left up to you, whether we do that or not. Build a trade beacon so nobody sees the rewards? Yeah, I could get that going. A little orbital trade. The issue is, I this is pretty small area here. So, um... There's no telling if the rewards fall outside the walls. I'd need to significantly expand the area to guarantee that it doesn't just land right behind the facility. Or something like that. Alright, a war merchant came in. I've sold off my everything. I guess what I could do is the biosolids run that I said I was going to do, but never did. So there's a caravan hitching spot, and tomorrow morning I will head out that way to hitch them and ditch them. Are they social fighting? Oh my god, stay away from my traps, please. I don't want to be blamed for you stepping on them. Isn't that a death beacon? I don't know what you mean. So... Maybe take the Luciferium off my hands. And a fox for cape, but I guess there's nothing for me to buy off you, so... Hmm. I'll buy two panthers. You know what that means. Your void timer is going to be ticking in just a second. Okay. Let's get that giveaway timer going. There we go. I just bought two female panthers. I'm going to be restricting them to... the pasture until they're trained to haul. Good luck. You guys want the monument quest, so what reward to accept? Res Serum. Eltex. Helm and Plasteel. Marine Helm. And Animal Pulse. Goodwill. So now you're voting, making yourself eligible if you're a subscriber for those Panthers. Cool. I do have Animal Handlers already prioritized. Guero. I'm going to have Kynan... F uh, no, I'll just have Guero do it. He has armor, so I don't want him running around hauling or whatever, because it takes him a while. Wearing armor full time. Makes you slow. Alright, now that that's mined up, let's fill it in to avoid the Wrath of Bugs. Steel amounts going up, which is great. Now, if you're wondering about the Resmix Serum for our already dead Brady over here, uh, he's pretty decayed, 
So using the serum on him, he would likely either become demented, blind, or psychotic and die. So it would be a possibility to have him be the one to to get it, but maybe not a smart choice. Uh, just to make sure you you know the the risks and the benefits. A steel stockpile near the champs. I mean, I have steel right here. It's not that far, but I could move the steel down a little bit and put steel. Let's do trap steel. Okay, this is preferred, so all this has to be as important. Okay, we are accepting for the Res Serum, Eltex Helmet, and Plasteel. So, quests, accept. Hey, it actually landed where it's supposed to. And Amara has to go fetch the Monument Marker. Because no one else is allowed to go in there. And... Who gains a side casting? Macho for six, Darzan or Guero for one. I'm also going to ooh place blueprints. Marble flagstone. No, that's not working for me. We'll do pristine limestone. So it's steel and limestone. Remove the roof over it so we don't roof it up. So it's not that like weird. I think they actually patched. It was a bug with the um, alpha memes with the Neolithic packed dirt f um, flooring that I wasn't able to build. And I believe that that uh, that got fixed. It was just a glitch in alpha memes. And a glitch no more. Oh, this monument is cursed. <laughs> it just blocked out the sun. All right, it's 10 a.m. It is time to live up to what I was going to say I was going to do, which is boop, boop, get rid of all the excess poo. And that's the raffle timer. Let's do 3,000 of the solids. And assign Squeakums and Kynan. All right, so one of the panthers is Tech Wolf. Very confusing name for a panther. And then the other one, Gray Hermit. Congrats to, to you both. And who gains side casting? Looks like Guero. Nice. By one. So, Guero, my man. Let's get you going. Get you your first side cast power. I'm almost done with septic tanks. It's very close to being finished. I guess the other thing I could have done that I didn't have as an option, because I just didn't think of it in time. Also, uh, Dynamic Smurf, thank you for the follow and the sub, and Master Niles for the follow as well, is to just burn it. Uh, burning it causes, like, uh, it causes some health conditions within the sphere. I could have set up to burn it in a corner, uh, to burn the excess fecal matter, but I think you would have voted for septic tanks anyway, so, uh, so here we go. I'm gonna set up a septic tank, um... You know what? Maybe... Maybe mirroring the steel water tower. Bro, <laughs> I got chunk skip! 
Guess it's useful. Berserk coming up. Well, Berserk would be a Psychast 4 power. You could have gotten Stun, which would have been a good level 1 power. Chunk Skip's not terrible. I'm not complaining about it because of our need for chunks. We have a chunky need for chunks. And here's the caravan dumping 150 kilograms. Of our biosolids. So now the biosolids room looks a little less ridiculous. If someone breaks in here in a rage, yeah, they would have to be put to death. They're, no one's allowed in there. Other than Amin Ra, psychotic or otherwise. So, I'm just hoping that they don't do that. There's not a whole lot that I could do to idiot-proof that, though. So, if someone goes berserk and smacks the door, I can't make it berserk-proof. So, it's just a risk we run. All right, do not drain. And now that I have the septic tank, um, so here's the question. No, it's not even a question. This latrine now, well, okay. I'm just trying to think. Technically speaking, uh, the the toilets that drain into sewage sewers. I mean, I'll allow it as a as a technology that will be in other people's rooms, but it is slightly stretching the rules a little. But sewers. And draining sewer systems were, were, one could make the argument, not exactly too primitive or too modern. So it's, I guess, okay. Um, so then the other thing I'm going to need to go with this, probably, is modern bathroom fixtures because I don't have a toilet. So should I queue up toilets next? So here's the reasoning. This uh, septic tank doesn't actually handle any sewage because the toilets that I have, these latrines, they don't drain to a sewer line. You just, they're like porta potties. You just, you just empty it manually. Um, so without having the modern bathroom fixtures technology unlocked, uh, I have no need for sewage, really. Um, but with that said, if I did end up getting modern bathroom fixtures, uh, I would hook, I would, I, I wouldn't go so far as to set it up where we were supplying bathrooms, bathtubs, that kind of thing. Cause that's beyond the pale, but, um, I would allow for, for there to be just a regular old toilet that, that goes to the sewer line, but no kitchen sinks, no fountains, none of that. None of that makes sense. Yeah, ancient cities would drain to canals, and that's that's more or less what we're doing here. JX Chin, thank you for the sub. Like, is that what a half a year in advance? Holy cow! Cheers to you, man. Cheers. And uh, what was the other one? There's another one in there as well. Uh, Cron Darlin, thank you for continuing your gifted sub that you got from Zach. Looks like you guys want modern bathroom fixtures. So, j just to show some of the dubs bad hygiene stuff, there's heating and, and saunas, and I would consider doing a fuel a fueled sauna uh, at some point. Definitely not an electric one, for obvious reasons. There is central heating and geothermal heating and stuff like that that I would have to hide. I could use, but I would have to hide. Irrigation would be impossible to use without violating the rules. Um... Toilets are probably the most advanced tech within Dub's Bad Hygiene that I would consider. 
Keep up the good work. I will, dude. And old geezer, thanks for the resub as well. Man, always tomatoes. All right, let's switch the tomato plants. To what? We have eggplant, corn, beets, cabbage, onions, peas, pumpkin. Psychoid. We're running a little low on tea. Not dangerously, but, uh, you know, it wouldn't hurt. Pepper is pretty good, too. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Onions are pretty baller, given how long they last. Peas lasting a year as well is pretty good. All right, Amon Ra. Time to research how to use a toilet. So once I do a sewer system and toilets, I'm guessing you're also going to want me to hook up the public bathrooms with toilets as well. Should all toilets use the sewer system. Now, the only issue with this is if I do, uh, let, me, let me explain before you vote. If I do all of the toilets using the sewer system, we're not going to have fecal sludge anymore. So I think it's very useful not to have fecal sludge in the bedrooms because it makes the bedrooms absolutely hideous when the latrines have to be emptied and we have to haul the fecal sludge. But not having any fecal sludge whatsoever means that we will not have fertilizer. So setting up every single toilet on the sewer system means we basically stop fertilizing our farm fields. Uh, fecal sludge can be harvested from the septic tank, yes, but no one can do that other than Amon Ra, and I don't think you want Amon Ra to be a poo hauler. That's just not his title, right? Because no one's going to be allowed to see the septic tank system other than Amon Ra, so therein lies the problem. I could empty it out and hope that the animals haul it manually, but like, it's a pretty imperfect system. One of the reasons to keep this still on the latrines, though, is who really cares about how awful these rooms are? No one spends enough time in these rooms for it to be a problem. They go in, they do their business, they leave. It's like a public restroom. Doesn't matter. A psychic suppressor for Nakongo. Uh, I'll have you vote on that and after that's done. And this monument's coming together pretty quickly, huh? Sorry for the Bavarian username. Hey, no problem. I'm sorry that I am not good at pronouncing your name, but that's not your fault. A sewage outlet has become blocked. Uh, what? Oh, it's holding sewage. Where is it holding sewage from? How is it even... Oh, is these latrines draining to them? It shouldn't be. But apparently it is. And it's more poo that it can handle. <laughs> okay. Let me build another septic field. I didn't think latrines hooked up like that. But uh, it looks like I'm wrong. So I might even um, change my research to not use modern toilets. Yeah, they use plumbing when, when available. Well, that's news to me. And I'm rushing to now fix it. Double capacity. So if you do want the, um, 
the septic tanks to uh, for all toilets to use the septic tanks I could try to set it up so that the animals temporarily can haul fecal sludge as a means to move fecal sludge behind the forbidden zone into where it needs to be to be processed so that could be a thing we'll figure that out in due time. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to open up the suggestion box for uh, another projects. I'm also going to, because the latrines are working, I'm going to abandon the modern stuff and go back to geothermal. And let's give you one more minute to vote in that to see if they all will use them or just the rooms that quote unquote matter. The uh, the title holder rooms. And these are all still linked. Yes. Oh, that doesn't belong there. Sorry, I'm gonna I have to wake you up. I'm sure someone saw that, but as you said, the all the tribals on this planet sell them, so they're not uh, they're not really unknown tech. But I will keep them away from the uh, the colonists when possible. So, what blocks do I have a ton of limestone? So I'm out of slate entirely. Yes. And it looks like it's tied. So I will flip a coin. Uh, heads is that we set them all up to be plum. And then tails is we leave them as lit latrines. Tails. Latrines. So the public restrooms are still going to get filled with poo. Because, you know, that's how public restrooms are. And then the private restrooms are going to be plumbed. So that they don't end up making the rooms extremely unpleasant. Okay, uh, Psychic, uh, should we accept the... The Psychic Suppressor? So the Psychic Suppressor will suppress all females for as long as the site remains to be destroyed. And if it gets destroyed, um, or if we accept it, you know, we, we get the Quest Rewards, Luciferium, Silver, Bionic Eye, Tough Skin Gland, Power Clod, Jade, or Goodwill, and a Recon Helmet. And... Uh, the females in the colony will be not that helpful in destroying the site because they will all be running at 50% mental capacity. How do you vote on that? This is almost done, so we're waiting on the marble flagstone. You know what? Let's make the remaining flagstone... I thought I had told it to be pristine limestone flagstone, because we have the most of that. So I must have screwed that up. The other thing I could do is just shave more slate off the mountain because we need more slate to finish up filling in the mountain over here. Uh, guarding is done training. Sweet. So now it's just haul. Training panthers is a little bit harder than training uh, dogs to haul.
Oh, we hit steel. Dude, what are you doing back there? And Macho just got an inspired trade. So you guys are saying, no, don't bother with this. That seems to be the popular choice. You have about one minute, more minute to vote if you want to try to flip it in the last minute. And then we're going to have you all suggest projects for what we do next. What's your animal skill, Guero? It is... 13. 9 and 11 are the other people here. Ooh, inspired tame for Marvelous Mike. With a animal skill of 3, you could tame maybe like a squirrel? No, squirrels might be too hard. You could tame like a donkey. Uh-oh. Mad Hippopotami. Uh, schedule. Everybody inside. Uh-oh. Sabin is, um... <laughs> oh, God. So Sabin, for reference, already is missing a leg, so there's no way that they're going to be able to outrun a uh, hippo. Good luck. Wrong place, wrong time. Yep, you're unconscious. You did keep your leg, but only one thirtieth of it. Holy heck, that's a bad injury. Okay, uh, no is how we'll go. Got it. What gate about it? So how many are crazed right now? Five of them. Guerrero, Darzan, and let's put Mike. I'm gonna fight these hippos, so we'll smash and bash. We get a pulse here. That'll give us a bit of an advantage. We'll do another pulse. Ah, uh, lost a toe. Come on. Enter. Enter if you dare. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna go have to smash them because they're too busy puking. Which is what I wanted to have happen, but... Ouch! That looks like a really bad wound. Uh, yes. I assure your safety. You'll be fine just a second. Alright, I believe that's all of them. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of cleanup to do. And making sure that they go to a hospital. So, we have guests. Uh, let's take a look. Owl, I already know you. Teetotaling Brawler. Antelope. Nimble and Sickly. I think... I think we were trying to recruit Antelope in the past. Um, so, as a guest, we are going to entertain and create friendships. Air Dog. And Azure Storm. Thank you for the, uh, the resubs. Alright, you, my friend. No. And you, uh, yeah, I'll try to recruit you as well. All right, shell bell tending in the hospital, and then these rhinos will die and will be hauled for food. It's nice to have a hospital here, isn't it? Oh, right, and then there's Sabin, but Sabin's not bleeding, so... 
It's a little less urgent. Who's entertaining? Uh, Amun-Ra, Shelbel, Firefly, and Sabin, who's currently being carried. So Sabin's not going to be able to do very much for a bit, because Sabin's, uh... Oh, bye, Yoda. Sabin's, you know, unconscious. Almost lost the leg, too. Hey, Shelbel. I can't even preach health because she won't even get back up. That's just how it be sometime. Okay, how is this marble flagstone still? What the heck? Flagstone, limestone. Please, please, please stop making it marble. I'm... It just keeps defaulting marble. I think I... There's maybe an issue with pristine limestone being used as an automatic material. That would be my guess. Okay, so here's some options on uh, next project. We can either incorporate more art into the colony. For reference, our ideology has art desire. So being around a lot of art, there's an expectation of being around a lot of art, and if there's not a lot of art, it does upset people. So depending on how exposed they've been recently, uh, they will have a... Where's a good example of this? Gorgeous environment. Where is art? Well, whatever. Uh, there's an expectation of art. Uh, we also have set up, set up an outpost. So there could be different outposts for things like stone or metals or wood or meat. Or whatever other kind of outpost that we might need. Um... And it would send off some of the colonists to go man that outpost. We can also craft items for trade, work towards the Relic Hathor's Bond. So, for that, we have three out of the five relics towards Haf Hathor's Bond, and we have the village screen and the village terminal. I was hoping to get invisibility sidecasts for those, but we just haven't been so lucky. So we might have to go massacre some villages for Hathor's Bond. I'd like to avoid that, but, uh, you know, we might not be able to. We'll, we'll see. Or just use Manhunter Pulse or something like that as a slightly more humane way. Not really all that humane, but still. We'll see if that is what we end up doing. Or viewer suggestions, something that you suggest. Um, I have the... I'll unpause the inbox and, uh, and you can suggest your own goals. Right, dude? Hi, bug. <laughs> Ooh, I have Yoda Streamer Cam paused. I unpaused it. Greetings, Do Village. Let's take a look at these guests. Their hospitality is high. I don't think I'm going to be able to befriend them, though, because their friend requirement is pretty high, and I don't have enough people entertaining them in order to, uh, to meet those requirements. So my guess is we're not going to be able to recruit them, unless I force it, but I'm not planning on forcing them. Flus requires sustenance. There you go. I'll allow everybody to leave the base again. I'm about halfway done with uh, geothermal generators. That's pretty cool. Geothermal power is going to be uh, pretty useful. Generates a lot of power. Obviously, I'm going to have to redesign this lab a little bit because the um, the steam geyser is completely in the way unless we tap a different steam geyser. But there's there's none that are that close. Plus, hiding all the uh, all the cabling and wiring would be a little tricky.
All right, hippos are getting hauled, which is good, because that will be another season or two of meat. Hippos generate a ton of it. And it looks like working towards Hathor's Bond is going to be the popular choice. Oh, man. I don't know what to do about these villages, though. I don't want to massacre them. But I don't really see much of a choice. Oh, this one got back up. Well, I'll be darned. I'm going to have Guero and Amon Ra bash this one back down because this one I'm just going to blame as being responsible for taking Guero's toe. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. But I'm going to assume it's true. Oh, Amon Ra's not even needed here. Guero knocked it unconscious with one swing. Smack down. And hauled. Hathor's Bond has won. All right. Use the lances for the village? I could use shock lances. Um, but villages typically have, like, I don't know, about a dozen or so villagers, maybe a, a, a little more. So there's no... I would need to use every shock lance that I have and then some um, for one a single village. It's just not economical. It doesn't make any sense. So I'll probably not go that route because it's, it's not affordable. And instead have to try to evade them um, or to kill them. Invisibility is a level 5 side cast, so it would require Guero or Darzan to get up to level 5 in order to be um, given the chance to win it. A gift? Oh, really? Put Glow World Medicine there? Let's move that away, shall we? I know they're trying to help, but, uh... Good God, man! Stop dropping Glow World Meds out in the open like that. So the septic tank systems, I think two are going to be enough for the private bathrooms that we have, considering the bathrooms are linked. So that means that, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of our 13 colonists or 14 colonists uses private bathrooms. And then the other seven are generating biosalts. Uh, that's a pretty good breakdown, I think. Let's see. Invisibility, I'll just double check. It's uh, Psychast 5, like I said. Hey, Hodel. How you doing? Hodel, for reference, is that uh, if you're one and the same, would be Twitch Toolkit, uh, original developer. Modder. Welcome. How's corporate life treating you? Oh no, I remember you? Yeah, I actually, like, have a decent memory. It's weird, right? But it's just... It's just how it is sometimes. In fact, I even remember your full name. Which is not family friendly, so I won't repeat it here. <laughs> oh, more guests. Wait, aren't you the same guests? Dude, this isn't like a youth hostel. Stop freeloading. So Choco, who's been here pretty recently, 
I think we decided to try to f befriend Choco, but I guess it didn't take. Antelope, who will try as well. Oh, Pesky Phoenix. Hey, there you are. Scorpion, Antelope, Owl. This is the old Owl. Okay, so guests come back. Uh, these shelves here were for the lances so they didn't decay. So let's get them hauled in. I didn't have enough marble to make them all marble. Do they hate each other? Who's they? Checking on the animals. One seventh and two sevenths. The guests? Oh, uh, I don't know. A lot of them like Amun Ra. No, I don't think they hate each other. Phoenix is of Amun Ra's chosen. It's kind of weird. He came back believing in our stuff. But we didn't choose to keep him. Could you plant food in the male duck pen to substitute food? Uh, I could. It's not a lot of space to... To actually feed a duck, though, because it's so small. But even if I planted uh, dandelions there, it's probably not enough to keep them from starving. Which means it's just more work with no benefit. Hey, Xavier. Thanks for the resub. All eight months of it. So Hathor's Bond. It is 5 p.m. I think tomorrow I'll make an attempt to go out to Hathor's Bond. And I think what I'll probably end up doing is bringing my Hathor's Guide, Shell Bell, and Macho and Guero as well. So the four of us going out. I would like a fourth animal to help. But no, we don't have one. To ride. Any predictions that can be done? No, not really. Tyrus, thank you for continuing your gifted sub. And Thomas Ross, thank you for gifting out a sub to HODL. The monument is ready? Ah, oh, it is. You're right. Let me get the last steel wall. So this monument is linked to this quest. Which means I'm going to have to hide the Resmic Serum in the uh, Eltex helmet. So let me queue these shelves up before it. Deltex Helmets, and Res Mexerum is already allowed there. Copy. Paste. Paste. Okay, there we go. Actually, it might be wise for Amun-Ra Amun to finish this at night, just in case the items don't land where they're supposed to while others are sleeping. It landed correctly. Awesome. Question. What should we do with the res serum? So we could either use it for now or save it for later. If we used it now, it would go to Brady, who would likely suffer some sort of issue with the res serum because he's been rotted. He was not stored frozen. Uh, now that we have a freezer, we can store future dead in here. I'm sure our 
Ammonites are going to wonder why corpses are being stored next to, you know, meat in the freezer. But uh, they won't they won't question Amun's Ra's uh, divine um, decisions on that front. But uh, or we or we can save it for later. You know, when we need it next. Also, I'm going to need to haul the plasteel out of there because no one else can do it for me. So if this monument gets damaged in any way, uh, 36 mana hunting panthers arrive, which I can actually use to help defend against other raids. So if I have like a bunch of human raiders, um, I can just smash a piece of this monument and panthers arrive and, and help to kill the, uh, the raiders. Kind of a funny way to deal with that. I could also store the dead in the secret freezer area. Yeah, absolutely. There's space for a sarcophagus there. Or I could just have them as corpses. Uh, which would be even safer, I think. Because if you entomb them and someone has a psychotic break where they um, want to play with corpses, they would go in here and that would be a real problem. Right? Because they would travel through the sensitive areas they're not supposed to see. So it's probably better that if I do store them in this area that they're not even entombed. But then if they're not entombed, I have a penalty. So in the end, it's probably over here still because uh, I don't want a corpse obsession to uh, get someone else killed. No two for the price of one type nonsense, right? Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld False God, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video also have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Ammonites.